part 2 says complete the grid below to show all the points in the table on page 25 and hence draw the graph of the function f of x is equal to 3 plus 2x minus x squared for x greater than or equal to negative 2 and less than or equal to 4. That means x between negative 2 and 4. Now, my graph here, I had to make it a bit small in order to see all the points on this screen. Alright, now let's look at um, the previous page for the working that was done before. What I will do is erase the rough work and then just concentrate on the values inside the table. All right. Now, we had negative 2, negative 5. Negative 2, negative 5. That means you're going to look for where x is negative 2 and move vertically to go beside x is negative 5. It's all the way down here. Let me see. Probably I would be able to move this graph a bit upwards. So let me try that. Yeah. All right. Negative 2, negative 5. So you're going to identify where negative 2 is, which is right here. You move horizontally to negative 2, then vertically to go beside negative 5, and it's going to be at this point. Alright? So, negative 2, negative 5 is located right here. That's negative 2, negative 5. My mark there is a bit messy. Yeah, negative 2, negative 5. Don't use a dot. Use an X or you could use a dot with a circle around it. Right? To plot your graph. <coughs> now, what I really would want you to do, well, you would have a already tried plotting this graph before all right but if you didn't wanted to try just one more time do it again and see exactly what the graph might look like before you continue looking through this video all right i'm assuming that you have already plotted the points so here this, this point negative 1 0 because along the x-axis this point is at negative 1 and beside 0 so that was negative 1 0 good the next point was 0 3 so it had 0 on the x-axis then project upwards to 3 on the y-axis that they are already then we had 1, 4. We go to 1 along the x-axis and move up to 4. And so, on the y-axis, so you'd have gone on right at 1, then move up beside 4, and that's the point you would plot, or that was already plotted. Then, 2, 3. So you go to 2 on the x-axis, then move upwards, right beside 3. That's where you're going to plot. So this point is 2, then up to 3. And it's right here. Good. 
after that you have three zero so move to three and the y value would be the y axis would be at zero so you did not move up nor down you remain at three and that's point that point is already plotted then four negative five so what was that four negative five you would move from zero to four points on the x-axis the negative five means negative move downwards five units so you move right beside five so this point is a point that was already plotted all right so then what you're supposed to do is to draw the curve through this point what they say you should do is draw the graph of the function All right you're going to draw the graph of the function now remember it must be a smooth curve my curve may not be that smooth but you should make your curve much smoother than mine so I'll try to make my curve as smooth as I can so I move upwards this way mm -hmm. that's true the next this point the next point is up here and this is the next point so I try to make it smooth like that come downwards through this point and then finally aim to make it go like this no there's a bit of a bend here you shouldn't you should not bend the curve towards a point it should have already been going towards that point right so you should not join the points with a ruler and using straight line no it should be a smooth curve so this is the curve that I have all right your curve as I said should be a lot smoother than this particularly if you use a drawing instrument which is called a French curve Okay, so later on.